tweets here from Pop Turn. It's me to Connor Merrigan Turner about Apple's Never Fall, which is premiering March 13th on Peacock. Welcome to the show, man. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you very much, PDB. You know, What's it's happening? funny. It's funny because you know this really is a behind-the-scenes interview. When you'll see what the questions I ask, but like, there were some technical difficulties before this interview, but we're here, right? <laughs> Yeah, a few. The the laptop decided to melt down just before we started, so that's okay. You look uh, at but a, we're here. We're here. You look at a show like this, man, and like there's so much elements. I'm sure when you're reading the script for this, there's like kind of like family component, the drama, the crime component, the who done it. Is there one element you like the most when you're reading the script for a show like this that stands out? I think I think I've always been attracted to shows that. I'm not really sure where it's going or it takes you in a direction and it plays with uh, your expectations of a script or a story and then it bends it. I think I've, I've always loved that. I always watched crime uh, crime series with my mom growing up. So I, I think that's what um, – it was a, two steps ahead yeah. of me and I, I love that in the script. Yeah, and that was what was most attractive. Sure. But there's so much happening in that space right now with also like true crime and the podcast. Are you ever conscious of an audience member watching a show like Apple's Never Fall while you're making it? Or does that kind of happen afterwards? Because like everyone's on the edge of their seat, basically like a detective while they're watching a show like this. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I think there is a conscious... Uh... I think you have to be conscious of it, but you don't want to be too conscious of it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be, I think that just as a performer, then that allows room for, um, you know, room to be self-conscious about, oh God, this is like, people are going to see this eventually. Mm -hmm. But stepping away from that, I think it is important because you don't want to give too much away. Um, so, you know, in performances where you might be clued onto a character who you suspect is uh, a, a very real suspect. You don't want to lean too heavily. You know what I mean? It's like yep. you have to juggle that unknowing at the same time of, of the knowing. Yeah. Absolutely. I think one of the coolest things about this show, in my opinion, Connor, and I'm just curious to pick your brain about this a little bit, is yeah. the ensemble cast kind of component. You got to work with some incredible people. And there's some projects that you can be on that have a lot of cast members, right? But maybe you show up and you have like, a scene with like one or two of your castmates, right? And you leave. But like this one, yeah. you have scenes with like a lot of them, bro, which is really <laughs> cool, right? So what was that like? Do you know what I mean by that? Like you're really on an totally. ensemble cast. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know, I, I, I totally hear what you're saying. You're like, you know, you, you could be in a show that has these amazing <laughs> titular characters or, or actors. And then you're like, you might pass them in the makeup truck. <laughs> yeah, you're like, but I never really with worked this... with them. <laughs> Yeah, 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 totally. And then this time we were just like <laughs> you literally like sitting around a off. dinner table. Yeah, din dinner table with mum and dad, Annette Benning and Sam Neill, and brother and sister, <laughs> Alison Brie and Jake Lacey. And, and, you know, the whole, most of your scenes are with them. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty frightening, you know, but we had to get through it. How much do you yeah. know about the audition for this show? Like, because sometimes they tell you a lot, sometimes they don't tell you anything. Like, did you know? what the show was did you know it was crime like did you know it was peacock like what did you know so i i okay so i knew it was it was one of those classic i'm, I'm still a newcomer so it was yeah. just like an emailed audition brief but what i did know is it was going to be set in america it was about the book apples never fall by leanne moriarty and that i knew nbc universal was attached and Peacock, but that was kind of, like you get a very brief uh, character description. So for me, I was like, this seems like a big opportunity. Yeah. I'm probably, you know, not going to, you know, quickly learn the lines before the tape. I went and read the book first. Yep. Um, but in that, the book is, you know, there are a lot of similarities, a lot of the, like internal nuances and complexities and character dynamics. They're all the same, mm -hmm. but it's just been uprooted and dropped in West Palm mm -hmm. Beach, Florida. So things changed and yeah. I didn't really know what those changes were. All I knew was I had to play Logan Delaney and I had to put on an American accent. It's interesting you mentioned that too, because I feel like the journey of like filming, like before filming and then going and filming something, I feel like in a lot of ways, those are two separate journeys because of the fact that a lot happens in between. 
But does it feel like two journeys for you on this show, or did it feel like one big storytelling journey with multiple steps? Uh, I, I kept, you know, that's a great point. I, I, keep, I keep hearing this thing where it's like the story goes through, or making a show, it, it's never just the one thing. It's, I think it's like four steps. The first is the writing. The second is the shooting. The third is the editing. And yeah. the fourth is the audience reaction. And they're four t- entirely different shows. 100%. So, so it, you're, you're it did feel like, making an argument that it's like four journeys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying it's one. I'm saying four. Let's go. Four people. Wow. Um, that is the first yeah. time people have said that. Because usually I, I mostly... Sometimes like, I ask that question often. It's like one of those like typical questions I ask. And like, I might, I was yeah. going to retire it because people are saying it's one journey with multiple <laughs> steps, but no, I'm not because that's the first time someone said four. So that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Because, you know, the writer has an interpretation. Yep. Then all these performers, like we said before, it's like you have six people with mm-hmm. different interpretations yeah. or, and a director's job is to like hone in the vision to be one, but you know, there are so many collaborate. That's like a whole other collaboration. And then it goes to someone else. Yep. And then it's their, it's their baby that they're, they're sort of playing with. So, um, yeah, I say, keep the question, mate. Yeah. No, keep it in I, there. I, I, a hundred percent. Um, something that I'm going to start asking more that I haven't, I think this is an exclusive for Connor American Turner right now, which is exciting. Love that. I love I that want, for us. I want I want you to ask, answer this with your stuff because it depends, right? Like other people might have different scenes. But I'm just curious because up filmmaking, there's ups and downs and there's some long days, shorter days. What can you talk about the overall pace of filming this show? Like I'm just curious about that. That's good. That, I reckon you keep that question. <laughs> That's a gold one. This is the first. Yeah, yeah. And, I, I, and I think your your listeners will probably appreciate hearing that too. Yeah. Right? You don't Absolutely. reckon like Well, I love the craft, wait. man. I love like how like we're gonna see you. It's a big deal, man. You're gonna be on the show on Peacock, March yeah. 17th. You know, Apple's never yeah. fall with an amazing cast. It's a big deal. You did a great job. I want to know how you got there. Well, the pacing was on, on, on set, it was it can be it could be slow and then very yeah. fast. Mm-hmm. The the problem with not the problem, but the challenge with shooting so many people in one one scene, each person gets maybe three different coverages. So yes. a lot of it is like slowly moving your camera here, you break for 15, 20, and we're just sitting there. But as the experience, and I hope it comes through in the show, is well, I was surrounded by the funniest people I've ever met in my life. Mm-hmm. So the time just went like that. Alison Brie, I mean, you know Alison's work yeah. and, and Jake's work. They're just like firecrackers. Mate. Oh yeah. So Jake yeah, in the so, White Lotus season one is like one of the best. Like he's just like facial expressions. Like he doesn't say anything. He's remarkable, <laughs> mate. He's so good. Yeah, he can say so much with uh, so little. <laughs> yeah, but um, him as a person, he can say a lot, and a lot yeah. of it's hilarious. So uh, it for that reason, it was like it was a blast, and yeah. it went so quickly. But to be honest, like. Yeah, some of the, those days with the ensemble were just, yeah, pretty pretty slow and tiresome. Uh, yeah. Shout out to the crew. <laughs> shout out to the crew. I feel like we're also, like, we're walking on eggshells a little bit with this interview because, like, especially with a yeah. show like this where there's, like, the kind of who done it, what happened. is like we really don't want to say much. That's why a lot of my, my questions are really not, like, plot-based. <laughs> but that being nah, give said, them to me. yeah, well, no, like, what can you tell <laughs> us about your character and what is something okay. about your character that maybe stands out or different or we're going to kind of pay attention more to compared to, like, your siblings and your parents in this show? Yeah, I think that, you know, I'll, I'll avoid, uh, <laughs> you know, spoiling it. You can text me and you know, it's a good exercise for the both of us. But I, I you know, obviously four different si- four siblings – kind of polar opposites yes like all in this same condensed mel- melting process uh this pressure cooker and we've all sprayed out yep. so i think for logan he uh he is a, he tried to go pro play yeah. professional tennis but didn't work out for him and he totally diverted uh into a path of like non-competition the opposite of competition and he he does everything he can to protect his family and the loyalty of that. So 
uh, he, he decides to work at a marina, lives on a boat, is very just like needs the calm and the present moment. But I think pe- what people will relate to Logan is, you know, sometimes it's like that that passive inactivity and decision making um, kind of paralyzes you and it really, you know, gets on the nerve of people around you, right? Because they're like, come on, you need to, come on, we need to take a step forward in life. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. And Logan's a bit like, I don't want to affect anyone. Mm-hmm. So I think that state of paralysis of, of like, I don't want to upset my family. I don't want to upset my loved ones. I don't want to, you know, disrupt the flow of anything. So you end up doing nothing and it sort of implodes. So I think for Logan's journey, that I hope people really can see something in, um, you know, you you gotta you got to move on. You have to keep moving. Absolutely. You know? It's, it's hard sometimes and it's, but yeah. yeah, absolutely. And... I think shows like this also, like the self-reflection component is huge in these shows, right? Because you kind of, you you like see this family that everyone in in, in some way is like struggling with something or like not even struggling, but like figuring things out, right? Like what's the next move? And like most of them don't know what the next move is, right? Like ever. So it's kind of like, but like from an acting perspective, is that a challenge a little bit? Like playing someone who's lost? Like I'm just curious about that. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. And it does it does infect you a little bit. Yeah. I can remember w- walking away from I did feel a little like you know walking away from cuz you stay in that emotion all day. Yep. And you stay in that emotion for weeks on end. So, mm-hmm. you know, being like having a put your laurels and your morals in just so many different spots and be trying to like sway between Every scene I was, I had to like mark out, well, which way am I swaying here? Which way am I swaying here? So I, I, that was a challenge. And it did sort of, in, in, I, I often like decision making outside of work. I was a bit like, oh, um, I don't know, do I want to go get a coffee? And you just over, and then you just overthink it. And you think of like the type of coffee that you could have got, but you didn't get a coffee uh, at all. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that coffee, uh, but I can't decide if I want to go to that coffee shop. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. A hundred percent. Um, so yeah. you are from Australia. Yeah, and I do want to ask because I have to. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I can't do spiders, and you know, it's <laughs> it's one of those things. But I find it. I wanted to ask because this is also another exclusive, I guess. Because like every time I ask people, like you know. Are there a lot of spiders in Australia? They say, yes, there are a lot of spiders. So they're not yeah. lying to me, at least, because they're around, right? And there's the small ones that are the poisonous ones. Um, That's what everyone keeps telling me. Yeah, but there's also sharks in Australia. Sure. Is there anything yeah. else that people don't talk about? Like, because everyone's like, oh, man, everyone talks about the spiders and sharks, but they're also not talking about this. Like, is there anything else specifically? I mean, it also gets really uh, hot in Australia. Stupidly hot. Yeah. The people, probably. Oh my goodness! Watch out for the people. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I, no, yeah, you're right. Like uh, snakes, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snakes okay. are a big one. Yeah. The climate, the sun. Okay. I used to be a lifeguard and um, lifeguard at Woolamai Beach down on Phillip Island, and you know the the real risk is like we'd do these things called rip swims, where we'd if massive swell. We'd jump out in the ocean and let the rip take us about 50 to 100 meters out and then oh, suck wow. us back in. So the risk there was the sharkies, but also we dealt with so much heat stroke yeah. with people constant because there's there's a lower, um, there's a higher UV rating in mm-hmm. Australia. So it just wipes people out. Skin cancer is a massive one. So if you ever go, uh, go to Australia, yeah, sunscreen. Absolutely sunscreen. From a, from a former lifeguard. And then from a former life next time, and then next time I talk to you, you're gonna be like, by the way, you know, it's funny we mentioned that because you know, I got like this tape for like a lifeguard, and, and like I got it because I was a lifeguard. <laughs> exactly right, exactly right. And I'll give you a call, Petey Bates. Yo, Petey Bates. And thank we'll just, you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, March, that's all you. Absolutely. March 13th on Peacock. That's apples never fall. So great chatting with you, man. Connor, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. It was great chatting with you. Oh, man, it was such a pleasure talking to you. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, your Instagram like, account is where people can keep up date with everything, right? Yep, Connor Merrigan Turner is awesome. uh, is my Instagram, and yeah. I'll be posting stuff and uh, <laughs> shouting you out, Bates. That, that was one of the best plugs of all time. Yeah, Connor Merrigan <laughs> Turner on Instagram. I'll be posting stuff. <laughs> I yeah. love that. That's Thanks, so man. amazing. I'm new to this, mate. I'm new to this. Dude, it's the best. Awesome. Well, this has been Pop Turner at YouTube.com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. You're, of course, going to be able to catch Connor Merrigan Turner in Apple's Never Fall, which is going to be premiering on Peacock March 13th. Until next time, this is Connor and Petey Beats. We'll sign it off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.